Right, hello, and welcome back to Colony Micro City, population one, just me, that's right, and here we are, uh, back over at the current developments, that what I've been doing now is for a few weeks, it's episode 40, and we are at Coastway Park, uh, and known Coastway Park because it's on the way to the coast, and um, this is part three, so, uh, by the end of this we'll have some vertical construction on the uh, kind of shopping mall-ish area. We've uh, got that area down there. I was thinking maybe golf course. I'm thinking maybe school. I realised the other day that I actually have a secondary school in Colony at all. So I definitely need to go in there and put school in at some point. However, um, probably best going to be putting it over by the residential area. Maybe having it down by the seaside is not the best idea. You don't really want a, a school on the beach, do you? That's not the best place to put a school. Having said that, would I like to work at a beach on a school? Yes. Do I wish my beach, my school was on a beach when I was a kid? Yes, maybe I would. Maybe I'll put a school on a beach, a beach school. Um, okay, so what we're doing at the moment is we're just connecting up this horseway, this new horseway, over to the existing horseway. So from the back of this part of the city to get to the yonder side where all the hotels are, would it's like a two minute walk. You want to go by horse, you want to use a horseway. Then, because the horseways aren't connected up, you're going to go all the way back around through the financial district and then back over, which you know takes you a good 10 15 minutes. So, this new horse, oh, hold on a minute, it, we've got a new splash going on here. What's this all about? From the Cotlandbury Broadcasting Corporation. That's right, 400 subscribers. A little bit above that now. 400 subscribers, how wonderful is that, Sally? I mean, couple more zeros on there would be nice but you know that's a good number that I'm happy with that looks a bit like a nine doesn't it but it's a four it's 400 we it's raining as well by the way so I've updated the little uh, subscriber number counter thing at the front of the park uh, front of the park thinking uh, planet coast now at the front of the city and it's raining uh, which is nice again and it's still raining uh, what was I going to say? So, there we go. So this new horseway uh, will allow you, it'll join up basically all the front of the city near the coast uh, with the back of the city as well. So you don't need to go all the way around now. It makes travel by horse uh, very convenient. And I might do the same. There's a, there's a couple of tube lines under here as well. I might actually take them around and connect them up as well. Uh, this is the tunnel though. The horseway, in order to put it in, because obviously I, I want all the horseways to be on the same level. The horseway to put it in means that um, it needs to be um, in a tunnel. So I'm just building a tunnel. Yeah, are you interested in what the 3D printer has been doing this week? It has been doing something. Yes, after three weeks of non-activity, because it was just printing spaghetti essentially. Uh, it's working fine. There it is. It's printing away very happily. Uh, that's a uh, real-time video that you're watching there. It doesn't go very fast, does it? very very slow at the minute it's just doing the outline just to show where it's going to print and then it'll go in and it'll start printing so I thought I'd done a test program uh, which had like an a peg on it and I must have misnamed the file because I've ended up with like a dozen pegs so it, this this print that I thought would have took an hour took about eight hours so I'm not going to show you the whole thing because eh, you know we don't have eight hours but it is, it is working lovely and it's working well it was just the bed the bed plate which it's printing onto that kind of um, glass plate has got like a special coating on it and the special coating uh, is designed to hold the uh, PLA material down onto the bed when it's hot so obviously it comes out the end of that um, nozzle at about 200 degrees when it hits the, the, the glass plate you want it to stick to the plate or you want it to stick to the you want and you want it to stay stuck all the way because there's no point in getting to like the top of a lightsaber or something and then all of a sudden the the what you're printing you print is connecting from the bottom and it falling over because you're just going to end up with sketty right so it wants to stick the idea is that this bed will this coating will stick when it's hot and then just release when it's cold uh, now i've been printing a lot of wasp traps recently and um uh, you know very nice lovely uh, but they've got like flat bases on them and I've been taking them off while they're hot and I think I've knackered the coating on it which is why it wasn't printing properly. So I've got two of these now so I can take one off and I can leave it to dry or to cool down and then this stuff just kind of pops off it instantaneously. Um, but there it is, it's just doing the outline now of the peg, the first peg. I'll tell you what, it's very therapeutic watching these things print. Look at that, what a wonderful pig. The pig? I've just seen a pig on there and I what a wonderful print. Um, so there we go, so the tunnel, so back to the um, 
from Minecraft, there you go. So it's just someone just sent me something. Uh, when you uh, when you go back to the um, tunnel there, the, the tunnel itself is going over the top of this building. So the building is going to be really strange. It's going to kind of come in um, at the lower level and then there's going to be stairs up to the main shopping level and then it'll go back down again the other side there's going to be a little hotel it's going to be like a cheap value hotel there's that mix uh, but it's going to be and it's going to be i think about four stories high i'm going to have a roof garden on there as well with some bars and things just so it's nice like that uh, down at the end there you may have seen me there doing the um signage there for the horseway and the boatway which is at the end of this uh, and they form the outside of the city wall as well so it's looking quite nice. Now the boatway stations, let's just go back over these boatways. Obviously I've blasted it all out with TNT and now I'm just kind of uh, making it look nice and neat and tiny. So it takes a while to do this. I do like blasting it with TNT. Very nice. And then I'll fill these with water next episode, I think. Once I've done the station for them, there's quite a bit of work to do on the station. And then we can get some. Now, this uh, there's an area down there which is going to be like a fishing area. And um, there's going to be a, like a little naturey bit down there as well. But this is going to be filled with water. Ooh, hold on a minute. There you go. Let's put that back. Uh, that was a, a low level tube line there. That wasn't very deep, was it? The uh, This is going to be like filled with water. It's going to be a river that goes through past this area. There's going to be like some fish here. You go look, there. You can stand there and do some fishing. If you want to do some fishing? It's nice. Um, and I'll put some, uh, some steps down to that as well, just so you can access it. And then behind this is going to be like a lake, and around that lake there's going to be some trees and some nature. There's going to be a large clothing store above it, and there it's just to the front, and then there's going to be some food eateries, uh, which are going to have like uh, horse roofs and boat roofs as well. So that it's going to be like a triple level, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, maybe a KFC, maybe a... Maybe a uh, Costa, maybe stab, something like that, something like that, and it's going to have three levels on it, so that you can you can go from your boat, and you can get your your, your skinny macchino, or you can go through on your horse and get your um, your big tasty or whatever you're after. I don't know. Other food is available. Uh, right, so boom, boom, boom. Let's have a look at this then. So we're blasting some more areas out. This is the station now. We're just blasting some areas out there for the station. So the boatway is going to make a sharp right turn and the boatway is going to go down towards the coast. So this boatway is going to go down towards the coast. Now I'm expecting it to run into the central tube line at some point, which means I'm probably going to have to do some work on the central tube line, um, either putting it down a level or putting it back up, uh, depending on how deep it is. I think it's quite a deep line. In fact, there's two lines that go over there, so I could have double trouble here in terms of tube lines I might have to go up or down, which isn't a problem. It's a minor inconvenience, if nothing. Um, so there you go, we've got then this station, it's going to be a nice station, it's all going to be kind of uh, yellow brick uh, concrete with these blue lights. And I noticed there was some new, there's no new lighting sources in Minecraft now, there's some new lighting sources. So I'm going to have a play, a play about with those, I think, when I do the upstairs bits. Uh, but there you have it, uh, this is the station, there's going to be another section behind here which is going to be like a boat storage area that people don't usually see and that's going to go behind this section and then on top of that we're going to have um, yeah, this, this running all the way down. So it's all happening, it's looking very nice, this development, we've got some building going on up top. Next week we're just going to fill this bit and then it'll all be, all the building will be up top. Um, but we've because we've nearly done all the stuff down on, underneath it below and, and with the horseways and stuff We still need to build the station for that and I might start my food eatery place as well I don't know if I've got a Burger King. I do like Burger King. I do do. I, love that. I like like a one of those ones with the onion rings on I Do like a barbecue um, Double cheeseburger with bacon and onion rings on it. I don't know what they call it. They're nice. I like those. I could eat a few of those and also they do the cheese jalapeno bites. They're really nice. Um, so I might I might put a Burger King in just so you know we've got a bit of variety. Um, or a Taco Bell. I quite like the Taco Bell at the minute. It's different, isn't it? They never look like the pictures though, and they never fill you up. Uh, but they do like that spicy uh, volcano wrap, which is quite nice. So I may get one of those in. Who knows? Anyway. Like I say, next time we're going topside, we are going to be working on all the buildings above, 
the weather takes a turn, it's going to be snowing and raining. But look at where we are now. We're going to be putting some trees in there. We're going to continue to work up, up, up on this top. Oh my word, look at that. Bit of remedial work here. Let's put that in. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to build up the top side of this. So thanks for watching, it's much appreciated. And this will all come to a conclusion not next week, probably the week after, and then we're going to go for a door. Okay. Nice to see you.